Khan. I'm sorry, Mr. Khanna. Mr. Berry, uh, you're the co-author co of Project 2025, the labor section, am I correct? Uh, the, the lead author on that section, I correct. Go down yeah. this list. I uh, want to get some facts out. There's been so much conversation I, I, about who's for working families and what we're going to do for the working class. I just want to get some facts out. In that report, you call for the repeal of Davis-Bacon and say that Congress should enact a law that makes it illegal to pay prevailing wage for union employees. Is that correct? Uh, I appreciate the chance to correct, to correct the record. That is, that is actually not correct. The, the, the draft, the, the uh, chapter expresses no view. There is an alternative view, not attributable. So you, you don't think there should be a repeal of Davis-Bacon? The, the, the chapter does not take a do, position. Do you have a view of whether there should be uh, a repeal? Honestly, I think it's complicated, and I don't. Okay. I don't do you, no. in the chapter, it says that you should end project labor agreements and project labor requirements? Is part, that part, correct? Same, same issue, Congressman. Yeah, you, you, you don't agree with that, or you say that the report doesn't call for that? The, the, the chapter does not does not speak to the issue directly. There's a dissent that does. I don't take a position. What about the uh, rescinding of regulation prohibiting the discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity, transgender status, and sex characteristics? Do you believe that we should be repealing any regulations to prevent discrimination on that? Uh, I'm, I'm blanking on exactly which at rich regs we're talking about, but but yes, uh, I support what is what is in there on those issues. Yes. So you would just to be clear, you would repeal any regulations that prohibit discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity, and sex characteristics. The position is that Bostock should be read uh, properly, narrowly, um, and not extended to the biological areas like bathrooms that we've been discussing today. But, that, but that's not what the report says. The report says basically you don't want any regulations that prevent discrimination against gay people and people based on sexual orientation uh, or gender identity. I mean, that's what you call for in the report. No, the, the, the chapter accepts Bostock according to its terms, and but resists its extension to areas where I, it doesn't apply. I think, I mean, I'm just quoting directly. It says, rescind regulations prohibiting discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity, and sex characteristics. I mean, do you stand by that statement? I, I stand by what it says in the chapter, yes. So, just to be clear, I mean, that basically means you don't believe that we need to have laws to protect people from discrimination. If someone is gay or someone is transgender, you think that there should not be laws to protect them. Let me go on to one other uh, issue in this report. You say that uh, we need to be scheduling civil employees uh, as F-scheduled employees, uh, which means that uh, the president would have the authority to fire about 50,000 civilian employees if she or he wants to. Is that correct? Uh, someone else said responsibility. I do support that as a policy matter, that the, ultimately the president and people accountable to the president should be the ones setting our uh, executive branch policy. So, I mean, Absolutely. under this scenario, if, if uh, for example, if President Trump returns to office, uh, he would be able to fire about 50,000 people who are currently civil servants and bring in people who are more consistent with his ideology, and you're recommending this as a policy, correct? Uh, having more political accountability is a very good thing. I, I just want to know, I'm not trying to argue with you, I'm saying for a fact, so you support the idea that Donald Trump could come in, hypothetically, if he wins the election, fire 50,000 civil employees, and replace them with people who support his ideology. Uh, I, su I, support, I support the Schedule F idea, yes. And that means that if he wants to take civil servants from the Justice Department, State Department, uh, and uh, from the Department of Homeland Security, and he says they aren't sufficiently for MAGA, I want to fire these folks, 50,000 of them, and replace them with people more aligned with MAGA, he would have the ability to do that. Currently, there are only 4,000 political appointees. You want him to be, have the authority, if he wins the election, to have 50,000 people replaced, correct? It's, it's a lesser civil service regime. It's not the same as political appointees, but political policy responsiveness um, is appropriate when it comes to any employee who touches on public policy, which but the individual left class would. I'm directionally correct. I mean, I think the American people should decide whether they want that or not. You're basically saying he should have the ability to fire up to 50,000 people if they're not doing what his ideology is and replace them with people more consistent with his ideology and reclassify these folks as Schedule F, correct? 100%. Thank you. Gentleman yields back.